Hi dears, now chapter 14, 14th chapter is statistics. With this under we already know collection of data, frequency distribution table and tally marks. This everything we will know, we know in the 8th itself. Now we will move to the exercise, okay. In this chapter 14.1 is deleted, so directly we will move to the 14.2. Now 14.2 exercise you have to see here this is nothing dear we want to form a frequency distribution table okay see here first of all the blood group of 30 students of class 8 are recorded as follows okay 8th standard students blood group they formed over here represent this data in the form of frequency distribution table what is the most common and what is the rarest blood group among the students okay they are telling us to form this blood group in the frequency distribution table and also find out the what is the common blood group most common blood group rare blood group that is uh, and then um, uh, blood group we want to find out okay now i am going to form in the frequency distribution table see here i wrote the blood groups now I am going to write first one A. We have A, B, O, A, B. So I wrote A, B, A, B, O. Okay. First we will see the A blood group. See here like this you have to strike out then only you can know. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So how many A, A blood group we have? We have 9. So I wrote 9 here. 9 okay then b 1 2 3 4 5 5 so b is 5 next we will move to the a b okay 1 2 3 so a b is 3 next o 1 2 3 4 5 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, A, O, we have 12. This is the frequency distribution table and also they ask a common blood group. Common is what? Which one we have? More 12. So, common blood group is O. Okay. Now, next they are asking rarest. Rarest means uh, which blood group we have very small amount. So that is AB, 3 members only. So AB. This is the answer for first sum. Now we will move to the second sum. Now second sum. The distance in kilometer of 40 engineers from their residence to their workplace of place of work were found as follows. Okay. They are giving about, about the distance between the workplace and then their uh, home. Okay. That only they gave. Construct a grouped frequency distribution table with the class size 5 from, for the data given taking given above taking the first interval as 0 to 5. Okay, class interval is 5. That means 0 to 5 means 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, 5 in between we have 5, uh, five, uh, five numbers. Okay, that only class interval uh, class size is 5. Okay. First interval is 0 to 5 they gave. So, second interval will be 6 to 10. Then uh, here they denoted that the 5 not included. 5 will not be included. Okay. What main future uh, future do you observe from this table representation? So, just we want to find or uh, form the frequency distribution table. So, now I am going to write a note. The data I wrote here. Okay. Now, I am uh, so see here. Free distance. Tally marks also. I am going to write for the sum. Then frequency. Okay. Now, we will. Uh, first, the first step they gave. Uh, the distribution. The interval will be 0 to 5. So, 0 to 5. See in this data. So, the largest number is. See here. What is the largest number? For writing the. For writing the, uh, the interval of only. I am searching the largest one. The largest number is 32. So, we want to write 32 also. So, we have to write 0 to 5. Next, 5 to 10. 10 to 15. 15 to 20. 20 to 25. 25 to 30. 30 to 35. Okay, we want to write third up to 32. That's why I wrote 32, 35. Okay, now we will refer 0 to 5. Which under we have? Now, we will refer for 0 to 5 that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 will not be included. So, after 4 will come. See here. 5 will not be included. So, it will not come. 1, uh, 2, 
थ्री फोर फाइव लाइक दिस यू हैव टू स्ट्राइक आउट देन इट इट विल बी इजी फॉर यू यूज द पेंसिल देन इफ यू डिड एट मिस्टेक मीन्स यू कैन इंक्लूड अ लास्ट ओके वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सो हियर फाइव now 5 to 10 5 to 10 also 10 will not be included 5 6 7 8 9 only see here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 okay for this we have 11 1 2 3 4 5 Six, seven, eight, nine, chain, eleven. Here also eleven. Now, now ten to fifteen. Okay, ten to fifteen is ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, see here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, chain. Eleven. Here also eleven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, chain eleven. Here also eleven will come. Now fifteen to twenty. Okay, we will refer now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So here we have nine. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here, nine. Now twenty to twenty-five. We will refer here. So here one nothing. So one. Ah, uh, I think so. We have only one only. So one only. So one here also one. Next one the twenty-five to thirty. Refer here which one? So here one. So that's all. So one here also one. Next thirty to thirty-five. Here, here one, here one. So here two, here also two. This is the answer for second sum. Now we will move to the third sum. See the third sum. The relative humidity in percentage of a certain city for a month of thirty days was as follows. Okay, construct a grouped frequency distribution table with a class interval eighty four to eighty six, eighty six to eighty eight, like this. Okay. Um, then etc. Which month or season do you think this data is about? Okay, this data is about which month they are asking. What is the range of this data? Range means what dear highest amount, dear minus last smallest amount. Okay, see so just refer here. What is the highest amount? Okay, that we will refer afterwards. First, we will form the frequency distribution table. They told eighty four to eighty six, eighty six to eighty eight. Okay, now I am going to form the frequency distribution table. And for the writing these two columns, I don't have space. That's why I wrote like this. Relative humidity. The intervals they told eighty four to eighty six. So eighty four to eighty six. First for this we will write for a uh, two three columns. I wrote eighty four to eighty six. Then then eighty six to eighty eight. Ah, uh, eighty eight to ninety. First three I wrote. However, it is it will come. We will write. Okay. Here also last one will not be included. Eighty six will not be included. Okay. Now we will refer the data. First, we will refer for eighty-four to eighty-six. That means eighty-four point zero to eighty-five point nine. Okay, first we will refer. See here, eighty-four to eighty-six. So here one, eighty-four above, eighty-six below. So was one only. So one. Next eighty-six to eighty-eight here. So here also one only. Eighty-eight to ninety. See here, eighty-eight to ninety. So one. Two. So here two. Next, I am going to increase ninety to ninety two. We will find out for ninety to ninety two. See here. Ninety two up here uh, below ninety two only. So it will not come. So one two. This two only. So two. Next one is ninety two to ninety. Four. See here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have so seven. Next one is 
96. See here. This one are 96 above. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Again, you have to refer. Uh, four, 5 we have. So, this also will come. So, 6. So, here, 6. Next one is 9. Now, 96 to 98. See here. 1. Then, 2. 3. 4. 5. 6. 7. So, 7. Next is 98 to 100. 1. 2. 3. Here, 4. So, 4. If you add this fully, you will get 4. 30. Okay. Now, we will move to the questions. First question we completed. Construct a group frequency distribution table with the class intervals. We completed. Which month or season do you think this data is about? Okay. Do you uh, um, see here? Relative humidity. That means... Um, uh, in Tamil, they will tell you, uh, no okay. So, yeah, uh, like this means which season will, will be, uh, which season we have more fevers, that is rainy season. So, second one answer is rainy, rainy season, okay. Next, third one, okay. You have to find out the range of the data. Range means what? This one we know in the last class itself, largest number minus smallest number. This is the homework for you in this data, which is the largest number you have to find out and write the number here. Then a smallest number also you have to write, subtract and tell the range. Okay, this is that is the homework for you. Complete the homework. Up to this, this the class is over. In next class, we will move to the fourth sum. Thank you, dears.